Hello everyone and welcome back to the Black Mesa playthrough. Now people that are familiar with my channel that have been watching recently would know that I've already done this chapter of the game called uh, Blast Pit and the only reason why I'm really going back to it today is because I feel completely dissatisfied with the audio quality of the previous attempt recording. So what I'm doing today is actually going back to this game, replaying Power Up sorry replaying blast pit and i'll be playing the next chapter called um oh god i never did that in the previous part lol no, um i'll be playing blast pit which is this chapter right now and power up so it's sort of like a two for one deal because i felt completely uh dissatisfied with the previous recording so hopefully the audio balance is okay now now i have made some changes such as adding a gain on the microphone so my mic volume should be a little bit louder as well as drastically increasing the actual game audio both in OBS and in game because the game volume itself in game is actually really low so unfortunately that meant the uh, the audio wasn't you know correct so one thing I never actually did is actually just take the elevator down because you know, I've always took the vent and the vent takes you down this side over here with the uh, ladders and all that but you could just as easily take this uh, elevator down and it takes you to where you're supposed to go to so it's the uh, quick and efficient way down if you will and I don't think I think you only get like a suit battery or something just to uh, just for going down that way but we end up down here and this is where we're supposed to go to. So there's another health kit in there. I think I already grabbed one. So yeah, I can barely hear the game. So I need to look at the right hand side to see what's actually going on. So just smashy smashy everything. We need to go down this way. Now one thing I'm attempting with this. Is to see if the, you know, the video is okay. Because I can see this game in pretty much uh, max settings. Not to be an egotistical fuck about it. But then it tr it's all about the translation between how good I can see the game to how good the YouTube video is going to look. And potentially this video is going to have, you know, um, compression in the sense of it being rendered using a video editor and then being compressed in terms of being uploaded to YouTube. Oh, look at that momentum. Look at that momentum conservation. I actually just completely fell off that so I need to go up this way ouch morphine administered that must have been a pretty pretty tough hit then ouch last time it was just like a push forwards that time it's just a full on got flung in the air situation so um yeah last time I did this I said already I didn't feel happy about it so I'm doing it again just for you guys because I feel like I owe it to you for basically doing so crap with uh, the testing and all that beforehand so hopefully you are liking this and I think what I'll do as well is just to be a nice guy about it I'll uh, leave a timestamp not only in the video so you can see the time but I'll also leave a timestamp in the comments and the description of the video so in case anyone who is watching this has saw the previous capture of power up no sorry blast pit i keep getting the chapter names confused if you've already seen blast pit uh, you don't actually have to watch this uh, attempt unless you're new if it's n if you're new and you're watching way after the fact then you don't need to skip ahead if you really don't want to so all i'll say is you can just watch this now if you really wanted to but um i would say that i'll delete the old attempt and I'll be just leaving you with the sort of this new attempt. Did these tentacles just like go for the wall or something? Damn. Now I did commentate on the fact that there are, you know, batteries over there, but you have to like platform on stuff, I think, so I don't think I'm going to be trying that. Um, and another reason why I'm replaying this is because I did so bad last time that I feel like I should be. Uh, I should owe it to you guys and girls watching this that I did such a terrible job last time so I'll actually go ahead and you know redo and replay my mistakes 
just so um, you don't have to listen to like salty commentary and all that. And it would be good to get off to a good start and get the momentum going in terms of playing uh, power up. But um, of course, this is one chapter of the game that I've never really liked, to be honest, this blast pit chapter. And there's a loading screen here. Now, one thing you'll notice is that in the past, I would have always edited out the loading screens and all that. But because the game's actually pretty damn good, the loading screens actually load relatively quickly. So that's a nice, good, positive thing about uh, playing the game on PC, on, on my new PC, rather. Is that, um... It actually looks pretty damn good so I'm happy with that at least now of course you might not see it being good so that's one thing I need to keep into consideration now I think I don't know what video I did when I was talking about this but I was talking about my scavenger sv4 one three part one video and I was gonna make a point about saying well that video was recorded at 40 megabits per second unintentionally so and, and um it looked like ass yeah the 1080 60 just looked absolutely god awful however i think looking back over it it is kind of okay now he just got messed up oh yeah so it might just be a matter of you just have to wait until youtube you know processes everything before you can actually watch it in a exceptional quality Die head grab. Hey, it's a mate. Must fire the rocket engine. Destroy the damn thing before it gets any larger. <laughs> mate, no, mate, no, mate, no, mate, no, mate, no. Uh, that missed completely. That hit. That's what I was trying to do last time. Is you know hit the barnacles with a grenade because I realised there was an achievement to do that in the past. Oh shit, mate, mate, you need to come this way. No, mate, no, mate, come on, get get away from the mate. No, mate, 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 no. Oh, he's dead. He got messed up bad. Ouch. Ouch, you five. Ouch, that's just nasty, man. So obviously, what we need to do here is activate the fuel and the oxygen. We can't do that yet. There's a Barney. How you doing, Barney? Quiet. This thing hears us. Hopefully you can hear this okay. I think you should be able to. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you, Barney. Just gotta... Oh, satchel charges. With this, I can make my own exit. To quote uh, Freeman's mind when you get to satchel charges. Although I think you're supposed to get the satchel charges way later on in the game. I think now they just give it to you. Oh my god, the Barney just got mixed up. Whoa. So I guess the idea here is you can either do one or two things. You can go slow as shit or fast as ass. Now the problem is this thing does hear you. So you do need to be really careful about what you're doing. I died. Okay. That happened last time as well. I died quite a lot. So unfortunately that might happen. I might still get my ass handed to me by this thing. Because I'm tempted to do one or two things. Which is one of the two methods I've just stated. Which is to either go really slow so you don't get hurt, or you go fast as shit. And that's the problem, is that if you go slow, then they might still hear you. Like one problem I had is that they hear the, the, the fact that you're trying to toss the grenade, which is quite problematic. So you have to wait for it to explode. Because one thing I tried to do last time was actually blow up all the exits. So I might actually have an attempt to just like run on right through. Like right now for instance. So then it's like it's a mix between going slow as shit and fast as ass. So I think I did better this time getting here than I did last time. Which is pretty good. But we're going to go this way first. Which means I'm screwing myself in the future because I need to go down and then all the way back up. So it's like a mix between you want to go slow so that they don't hear you, but then you want to go really fast so then they don't have a chance to get to you. So that's sort of a strategy, I guess. You just need to be really careful. That's all I can say. 
And there's a loading screen here, but of course I'm not going to edit this out, I'm going to keep talking because the loading screen's actually pretty short. You know, in the seconds territory as opposed to minutes like it was in the past. Now I'm pretty sure for something like the grenade you have to aim more to the left than it makes it out to be. So as you see I was aiming to the left yet it went into the barnacle so... As, I'm, as I said, that's something you have to like consider with these uh, these grenades now, is that they don't actually go where you aim. I like how the boxes get blasted because it's a physics explosion, I think, and it just caused that of a box to get like blasted. Oh, the body went in the hole, but the head crab didn't. But the head crab went into the hole, so I blasted him with the crowbar. Uh, there's a ladder here, so we go down. Oh, got that. I went for the wire. Wait right, for the cable. So just gotta go down into here. There's a bull squid. Blap, 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 blap. Get, get, get the bull squid. Okay, I got him. Oh, Gordon. This is like a brick wall here for no reason whatsoever. So yeah, hopefully this is coming out okay. I know I keep saying it, but if I'm going to be playing all of this chapter, and I'm going to be playing Power Up as well, then if the capture's like glitching up or not recording properly to any capacity, then that could be causing severe problems for me. Because the last thing I want to do, honestly, the last thing I want to do is be playing this chapter three times just to get it to come out right. And I think last time I did an experimental setup, this time around it's a bit more of a I kind of know what to expect setup so I hope it is coming out okay now of course because of the bit rate I'm recording at it should be good for 1080 60 quality but it's just a dependence factor on how good OBS is being right now oh god he just got like messed up yeah that, ha that happened last time as well I messed up some of these guys pretty uh pretty badly so I don't think you can go down this way and I think that's the way we're supposed to go to so we need to head down because this is where the fan is yeah remember the fan and you have to go underneath it to activate it like what design who designed this which 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 smart ass thought this was a good idea to actually climb underneath a giant fan to turn it on I don't know maybe you're supposed to activate it from somewhere else but Obviously it's all broken, so you have to be really careful. Go up. And there we go. So at least it does take some time to power up, as opposed to, you know, Half-Life 1, where it was just like really quick. And if you were just a hair too slow, then you'd like get decapitated or whatever. Whoa! I think we have to go up to this one. That's what I'm doing at least, I'm heading up in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because they got up in there. Vents that are large enough for people to actually walk through. Okay, so you can't go down that way. You have to go down here. Ouch. Head crabs again. Head crabs. Damn, I hate the head crabs, man. Damn, I hate the head crabs. Right, so I think there's nothing down this way. I think it's just the door that you can't actually get past seems to be the case and there's a box here just smash all the boxes because you never know if there's going to be items that you need inside of them Eight crabs. I think that was the door that was just locked so we need to head down this way okay there's another one of these aim to the left oh god there's a torso And there's a Barney zombie. Come on. Oh, he just got messed up. That that, that flip though. Or those flips rather. Damn. Well, at least that's going to blow that up. What I want to do is a bit more like that. So you get the barnacle. He goes bang. He vomits all over the place. I need that suit battery. I really do. Because I don't seem to have that much suit power. Head crab! Head crab. 
we can go through here, look, there's one of these cranks and some supplies. Now remember this puzzle from Half-Life 2, episode 1 I think. So you're supposed to use that. Activate these things, which is the fuel I'm guessing, or the oxygen. So there, there, that opens this door up. We can go through here. Now I did comment on this last time, the health charger does look very choppy when you activate it. That's actually the, uh, the health kit doing that, not the game. And then we just end up back here. So we can go down this way and we would have activated the uh, fuel. So that's good. Now we can carry on through the game. And unfortunately now what we need to do is head further down. I think we head down that way. And the idea is now what we want to do is turn on the, the um, power, I think it is. So that was the oxygen and the fuel simultaneously. What I tried to do last time was be a bit clever and take a shortcut down here like that. And of course you've still got those tentacles in there. But I don't think you can do a good job of trying to jump over this gap. I think I tried to crouch jump and it just didn't go out wide that whatsoever. So, at least I did a better job this time around with it than last time. So that's pretty good. We made it out. No jump scare zombie or anything. That's all well and good. I remember in Half-Life 1 they put explosives on the bridge and if you blew up the explosives it, uh, it sort of meant you had to platform or like jump over or whatever and it's quite a uh, quite risky. And I got ammo in the loading screen. That happened last time as well. I got ammo in the loading screen. And I commented on the fact that it, it's the uh, pistol, the Glock, and how the Glock and the submachine gun seem to utilize the same ammo source. Which I think it is something that might have been referenced in Freeman's mind. I'm not 100% sure though. Or it might have been subliminally mentioned in Freeman's mind. Because I think he said something like um, in Freeman's mind too. Oh why don't these use the same ammo or something. Because in Half-Life 1 you use the uh, pistol and the submachine gun ammo as the same. They're the same thing. So I think that's sort of like the, the uh, a reference so just blow that up, blow that up, blow that up, and I'll probably just pistol these guys down. Oh wait, that, that he he's, he's gone. So there's this guy here, look. All right, I think he's dead. Still a couple guys around here. So I'll grenade this guy and see if it gets all these free. There we go. I think they're all dead now. Alright, so if you're hearing this sort of hum in the background, I don't know if you will because the game volume is probably overpowering it. But if you do hear something, then that's most likely my computer doing work because it is trying to play this game max settings and, you know, record it at the same time. So, of course, you might imagine that might cause some level of a problem, if you will, with my um, trying to do this. So I just hope it is actually coming out to a satisfactory standard. You know, I would say probably dropped frames in the capture is something that I'm not a big fan of. But I think that it can look a bit pixely just because of the bitrate. And that's the sort of excuse I'll go for is that if, if it looks pixely for 1080, 60, then it's the bitrate I'm recording at or the way the uh, capture settings is set up. So you have to go down the elevator going up. No, I said up, not down. Oh, God damn it, man. So yeah, that's what happens. I'm just gonna take a sip. Oh God, no, my cup's stuck to like this uh, pad. Ah, that's problematic. Can I jump out the window? I could. The entire time you could actually jump out the window because this elevator is going to go meow, down. So the idea is I guess that you were supposed to be able to jump out the window. In the last, I think the past few times I tried to do that I never was able to jump out the window but I just did it now and it worked. So mate, how you doing mate? Smithers? Went down there Smithers? And never came back. I think I made a Mr. Burns reference as well because I, um, I recently played The Simpsons Hit and Run for the 10th and 
you know, in it's a uh, uh, the game that me and my brother have. Well, we have two copies. My brother has it back now, but um, we have two copies of The Simpsons Hit and Run on PS2, and one of them I call the glitched copy because it's a glitched copy of the game, meaning that uh, it's well, well, it's bugged out basically. It doesn't load stuff properly, and I've done a whole, you know, the the, the stream archive. I have to say in quotes because it it wasn't it wasn't even live stream for some unknown reason. I couldn't seem to live stream on the 10th, which actually would mean that for like the first time ever, I've not been able to do a session of the 10th because the the just the internet was bad to the point I couldn't even do a live stream to begin with. And I kept saying, I think throughout the video, that people would say that somehow that's my fault for why the internet didn't work or something like that. You know, it's not, not any fault in the gameplay on my behalf, it was more or less the game just... No, not even the game, the internet connection just was unstable. It was in the red amber constantly. And it wasn't like I was trying to stream at some absurd bitrate, it was only like, you know, 2,500 or 3,000 kilobits per second. Which really isn't that much when you think about it for like 720p. So it's a, definitely within Twitch's, you know, limits, but for whatever reason it just was below 1000 the entire time. So I have no idea about that. We got Mr. Smithers here. Oh yeah, thanks for telling me to reload, mate. Now you're gonna die up here, fucker. And I am 85,000 G. There we go, the power is ready. So I remember if you weren't fast enough, you could have got stuck on the generator in Half-Life 1 and then you would have to like take damage just to get out. Or you can do a Freeman's Mind and just like no clip and slide down a pole or whatever. But either way, we've done that, we've turned the power on. Just seeing if there's anything I needed to reload. Doesn't seem as if there was. Oh god, there's hound dies and a water gun. Ouch, he spawned a bit too far back, didn't he? The water gun this time around, compared to last time. Though obviously there's not gonna be a last time for people watching. I'm not gonna put the old gameplay. In this uh, video. So I had to burp almost into we'll my breath. I try not time. to do that stuff like so loudly. Because I know of someone who does stuff like that just willy nilly and it's just disgusting to be honest. Like, yeah, you just like full on snort and it's like it wipes into the mic, so it's just disgusting. It really is. It's it's just, just nasty man. So if we just go over here and then we've done it. That's nice. I didn't even need to use that health kit, believe it or not, which I did last time. Which well, probably because I had some idea of what to do. So if we go down here, we've got another loading screen. Hopefully it's not going to take too long to load. But now it's the sort of finale, if you will, of this uh, chapter. So essentially what we need to do now is actually work our way back up to the control room. Which is quite a ass thing to try and do to be honest especially with these tentacles so it's either you go slow as shit or fast as ass and you do need to be mindful of the tentacles which is why you have so many grenades now if i just toss a grenade over there hopefully they get distracted by it damn it they're blocking the they're blocking the path so you need to like really think about where you want to toss these and grenades and all that. Yeah, I don't think that really did anything. I think that should do something. Although it's right by the ladder though, so they're gonna they're gonna be right there though. I think I had. I think this is probably I've had the most trouble this summer rains compared to last time. Shit. But I think this is one time I've actually just like made it fluently from the bottom all the way to the top without getting hit once. So I think that's pretty good. Right Barney, I'm just going to activate it now. So, Hadushki, guess what? If you can't stand the heat, don't exist in the rocket propulsion test lab. <laughs> okay, I'm just getting insanity right now, but it's just in, in dot sanity, dude. 
But there we go. We did it. The Barney. How you doing, Barney? If it bleeds, you can kill it. If it bleeds, you can kill it. Awesome. So, the tentacle is now dead. And we can continue into the next area. Now, I think this is actually coming exceedingly close to the end of Blast Pit. So, I think after Blast Pit, uh, after this next level, we get power up. And I will be playing power up as a double whammy for you guys. So, one part, two chapters. Just to make up for the fact that the last recording was absolute ass. Now, as you can see, it's sort of like the, the colours all changed and all that now. So, I think what we're supposed to do is land in the water. Now, I did that last time and lost all my health, to be honest. So... Don't actually miss the water, whatever you do. You can actually just get back out again. I'm, I'm having such a terrible time trying to do it right now. There's some ammo there if you really need it. Some, a poor charcoal guy. Uh, and this is all the tentacle. Look, it's all like broken and dead. I guess there are bodies down here and they got incinerated. So what we need to do now is work our way out of here. By heading up yonder this way. And uh, I... Oh, there we go. That's where we're supposed to head. Down this way. But come on, get out of the water, dude. So now I believe there is something down here that we can utilize. So let's just go ahead and do that. And uh, we can. Oh, is this shit? Is this suit charger? I think the suit charger is choppy as well. But look at this, man. Look, look at all this toxic radioactive waste. It's just. Ah, oh, that's nasty, man. It really is. Looks like there's something up there. But I don't think there's a way we can get over there. I don't know. Maybe if we go back up here. Just maybe we might be able to do something. But one thing I like about this game is how when you're near the radioactive material, it sort of lights up. Like It's not lights up, but it's this grainy film. I, I, would, I, would, I don't want to say film noir as such. But it's just this grainy sort of video that happens when you're near it. So that's a nice little feature I would say with this. Is that it's like when you get close to it, it's all this like noise across the uh, video screen. Oh god, I actually jump up here. So I think one thing that's enabled in the options is auto crouch jumping. So whenever there's a situation where you need to use the crouch jump, then the game sort of automatically does it for you. And I'm fairly sure that's because somebody with the name of Dark Side Phil just like completely fudged up how to do the crouch jump in, in this game to the point where it was just like absolute cringe. I mean, I'm not even kidding you. You try to like platform up physics objects just to be able to, uh, you know, succeed basically because he just he, he knew how to do it. it there was a hint, and, and he acknowledged the hint, but he didn't actually like full on read it or understand what it is that you're supposed to do so he flubbed basically all the nearly all the way for the game well he got to office complex and then there's the pipes where you absolutely need to use the crouch jump and he just didn't know how to do it and um he was like saying it was a bugged jumping mechanic or something it was just uh so it is like something to piss everybody off because um you know it's uh not a bug to jumping mechanic, it's something you're supposed to do, yet he didn't know how to do it. So it's almost like he's blaming the game developers when it's basically his own incompetence for why he sucked so much ass at Black Mesa. And we got trip mines, but we're not going to be using the trip mines as such. Not yet at least. Ow! Who the piece of shithead crabs your mines? I have to use a health kit now for that. Damn. So yeah, I wanted to get that out of the way. Power up! Yes, this is the next chapter of the game. As you can see here, we've got this big motherfucker indeed. This thing is called the Gargantua. So, this thing will burn you to a crisp like a barbecue. You see that? He, just, he turned into a charcoal look. Look at this. He's burning the guy and then he just turns into like a charcoal. That's nasty, man. Oh shit, he's trying to blast me through here. With the fire! Fordergaunts! Guess what? I'm gonna grenade you up, blood. Ah! And guess what? He's gonna get blasted by all the explosive bowels. 
Yep, he did. Totally blown up by the... Oh, God, what the hell? Don't think there's much of a way to go there. We just need to go down this way. More of them. Ah, just blast your ass with the satchel charge. Shit. Why does everything keep blowing up on me? Head crabs down there, look. There's head crabs. I say we murder them brutally with the satchel charge. Oh, and he's on fire. He ignited that head crab right there. That's beautiful. All right, mate. Jesus. I tried to use the health kit, but he depleted it all of it. If you can get the power on, that train will take you to the surface. Okay, but it's a long way down to the generator room, and there's things in the way. Things in the way. Yeah, totally. I understand that big ass gargantua out there. You know, it is what it is. Now, of course, we can't actually activate anything because he's just told us that we need to go down to a place called the generator room. And I don't think that is a Crash Bandicoot 1 reference, because there is a level in Crash Bandicoot 1 called Generator Room. Which is a pretty ominous level to be honest, like Cortex in front of a blue screen and he doesn't even have the N on his head or whatever. But um, Crash Bandicoot man. The Insane Trilogy pissed me off believe it or not, more, you know, really bad. But um, still Generator Room, good old creepy ominous level from the... Uh, First game. Whoa! Whoa, 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 man. Do you mind, do you mind not just like teleporting out of nowhere? That should be illegal in games, man. Okay, that was just poor timing on my part to hit that head crab with the crowbar. Oh, there's a health kit here. I only need to use like seven health, you know, recovery. Oh, I don't even know what to say. Shit! What the? Head crabs! Oh, he just got messed up, man. I remember in my first playthrough, or more rather the uh, old playthrough, as I like to call it, of this game, I tried so hard to hit the head crabs while they were jumping with the shotgun. Because that is an achievement in the game to actually go ahead and do that. Damn. Right, what's this? Oh, we've got grenade rings for the submachine gun now, yes. We actually have grenade rounds for the submachine gun. That's pretty good. Now, of course, from we've got hostiles, we would understand the concept that the military is against us. So, obviously, if we go through here, you would understand that there is a turret right there, which is not the uh, the friendliest. Right, mate? Time to die. What, what the hell? Oh, is the door closing on me? That didn't destroy it really. I wanted just I just wanted to swoosh a grenade on back there to take out the turrets. Like that for instance. So it would actually destroy the turret. It took three grenades to do it by the way. Just because it didn't actually do it the way I wanted it to at least. Neither way we got our health back, so that's what matters. I'll stick with the assault rifle, thank you. And uh, we've just got to be careful around here because there are a bunch of guys. And if they understand the concept, I like to break all the boxes, then they would just get me instantly. Over there, look, there's a guy, look over there. Oh, he just got messed up. Damn, I'm trying to do long range aiming like this is pretty, pretty tough. So you just got to control your bursts and just sweep on in and blast the asses. Damn, look at the skull. Ouch. Must have been painful. Get that one health back. Uh, I'm just like jump crouched up into that little area. Of sort of space. Okay, keep going. Hey, you trying to shotgun me, bitch? I just sort of you in the face, man. Shit, this ain't good, mate. This is it's imperative to get that uh that suit battery really is absolutely vital that you get it. Right, so I don't know if there's anybody else lying about the place. 
So it's worth an investigation at least to uh, go through. I'll see if I can use this health, this suit charger station. Oh, perfectly on AC. That's good. Can we go through here? No? Oh, there's nothing even in there anyway. We need to go down that way, I think, but I'm going to just explore this place in case there's anyone lurking about that uh, that needs to die as you do at least I can switch between weapons kind of easily I wanted to press 3 but I hit 2 there I think alright let's pray for the boxes is there anyone here? a guy in the box are you kidding me? there was a guy in the box Damn. Right, mate. Yeah, there's just a guy in the box. Damn it, man. Reminds me of Freeman's mind so much when I had all the people in boxes and all that just jumping out at you. I wonder how they was able to do something like that. Just, like, get a soldier in the, bo in the box without actually causing any uh, problems in game. Otherwise, it would say, like, oh, you got a physics penetration error or something. And trust me, you would notice if stuff like that was happening. Because the game just gives you like a big explicit warning saying, oh, you know, there's an error and it'll tell you exactly where it is. So I think we cannot use this. It's all locked up. Look. So I think this way down here we need to go. This is where we need to go to progress. We have to go down the stairs, which have broken. Sadly. Hang guys. Hang there's, there's, there's more of them. Damn hound guys. I almost got all of them too. Just that last one. Caused problems. Damn. Is there anything further down? There is stuff further down. I'll tell you what, it's worth taking a nose around here first though. Right, there's something down this way. Yeah, that's I think that's the way back actually. So I think if we go further down first, what we should realise is that this is a generator room. So this is what we're supposed to try and activate. However, we can't activate it because there's the power off look. So we need to turn unit 1 on. Which means we need to actually go further down beneath us, down here look. So we actually need to go down to floor 01, which is right down here. And I don't know if there's going to be like the leeches or whatever in here. Because I remember in Half-Life 1 there was leeches and all that and it wasn't a... Uh, wasn't very nice. If we smash up the uh, blockage, then that should be good. Oh no, there's a Barney zombie. So sorry, mate. Oh god! Oh my g! Oh my god! Oh my god, guys! Look at that physics. That Barney zombie. He just he got messed up, man. He got messed up by physics. Jesus Christ Almighty! And I fired by accident, but. He got messed up, man. That shouldn't even be allowed to happen in games, yo. Okay, we can turn that on, though. We get the electrical arcings. So you don't want to be, uh... Oh, man. Turret defense system activated? That ain't good. I don't think the fan power is sufficient to actually power you back up to where you came from. Oh god, there's more of them. I'll camp back here with the assault rifle. Or grenade them up. I think I actually hit myself there. I don't want to spread misinformation or anything. But I'm pretty sure I just hit myself there with that. Which means I don't have any grenade rounds. And obviously there's not going to be an ambush here. There's an ambush. Oh god, that was a bad time to reload. Especially when there's a guy there. Trying to shoot me up. Thanks for the health kit though. Don't know if that's the health kit he dropped or if it was one that was just there to begin with, but still I appreciate it. But there's more of them. Oh, oh yeah. That was a uh, epic fail, but then it was an epic win simultaneously. That was actually pretty good. The fact that it I used the explosive bowels and the uh concept of physics to actually just mess that guy up is actually pretty good to be honest that was a nice little execution right there um, I don't need to use a health kit though I could 
do with some battery power. So if we go down this way, then we can actually backtrack down to where we're supposed to go to, which is here, I think. Little loading screen, beautiful. Cup stuck to the pad again. Jump scare guy? No jump scare guy. Guys! Oh, guys, said drag out, get out of the way. Okay, he didn't hit me sadly. Unfortunately, he didn't hit me. Overkill with a shotgun. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted to do. Now, I have plenty of ammo for the shotgun. I might as well try and use it if I can. I need to use this health kit again, but thankfully, not that much again. Oh, wait, what the hell? It's got like a little little hub area here, look. I don't think this was open before, was it? Okay, it's a little strange. Right, let's go up this way. Okay, there we go. I thought I was stuck on the ladder for a second. I can use the health charger again, look. Oh, no, Barney, don't say that, mate. So I think that opens a door down there. But we still gotta get past this big freak. I'll take that shotgun. So I think this is when you remember in um power in blast pit, sorry, where I said you gotta go either slow as shit or fast as ass. Well I think this is one of those instances where you need to go fast as ass. So you just need to make sure he's not gonna be blocking your path. Just go, just ass and go, mate. Just one one until the cows come home, just ass in go mace, one like your life depends on it because it really does, get in here. Oh wait, no, we need to activate the plugs. Plug in the plug, plug in the plug, get up here. Oh god, I'm being incinerated. And activate. Fuck you, you stupid big metallic fucking freak of nature. Bang, and the dirt is gone. He got, as I like to say, messed up there, beautiful. Beautiful. He got messed up beyond belief. Can I actually go up through here? Oh, come on. The gib of the gargantua is blocking my access to uh, a suit charger, which I really could do with right now. Oh, I can't even move out of the way. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, I kind of threw it. No, okay. Oh, no, 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 he's blocking the health. Oh, he's blocking it. Look. Move that crap out of the way. Move the gargantua gib out of the way. So you can... Uh, get max stats so with the gargantua done and dusted we can head down yonder this way to this little tram here now there's this uh, station area that's where we came from so we didn't really explore this area but there's a station with all sorts of supplies so got some good stuff there nah. there we go so this looks like we should be able to use it and of course there's the Barney up there look and he does us a favour by actually rotating this platform for us. Because in the past we have to backtrack all the way up there to uh, rotate the track. But it seems like the game's actually been a bit fair and has enabled us to just use the train, which is quite good. So that's quite nice. And what's this? It's a Barney look. Hey, it's Freeman, right? Yeah, it's me. One of your scientist pals said they'd give you a message. All right. Uh, you're supposed to take this old rail system up to some sort of satellite delivery rocket. Satellite delivery rocket? I don't know where it is exactly. The old guy was oh, so worried so... about getting out alive, he didn't think to stop and tell me. Old guy, Kleiner, Eli. The thing is, the military. You know, um, Green maybe. So when you find the rocket, well, if you find the rocket, you'll have to get up to you the control. You have to get to control and launch it. Yourself. Wow, you got to launch a missile. Lambda team needing the satellite in orbit if they were ever. Lambda team. Why don't they tell us anything? I'm gonna stick around and help any other stragglers. Okay, I don't think there's any other supplies in here. If he blocked the door, I would have screwed myself over. And I like how there's the red and green sprites at the same time in the reflection. That's the thing with like these uh, source games is that reflections don't usually uh go too well, shall we say? Oh, there we go. We're loading. So it's like with the reflections. 
you need to it's, a, it's like a one-time thing it's not reactive if you will it's sort of like yeah it reflects whatever's there with it you know if there's changes then it doesn't reflect the changes if that makes sense unlike in other games where it might actually do it I think that's a bit more expensive though in terms of uh, resources to change reflections and all that but we are going down 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 black hay to mic mic drop and if we go down enough then what we should realize we are in sector E material transport A and we are actually on the honor rail chapter so I am going to go ahead and save the game over the old power up save over like that shizzle and we will be moving on to on a rail next time ladies and gentlemen so thank you very much for watching this extended part of black mesa i am out of here peace out to you all and sorry for any inconvenience i've caused i'll see you next time for on a rail possibly in a live stream environment who knows but um seriously thank you all and see you next time